Welcome back to another video. I've got some items that were sent in from Clips. These are key organizers, or at least two out of the three. So I'll give you a bit of a commentary, show it to you and some thoughts using these products, let you know what I think of them. I'll start off with the mini just to show you the packaging and what's included. You do have the assembly instructions on the packet, but I'll show you myself doing it. This one is the easiest out of the two in terms of putting it together. It's also the smallest out of the two. So the four columns that you get there, they're for the adjustment on the number of keys that you're gonna use. This is their special patented roller bearing or something like that. And the idea with that is it's magnetic and it should stop it unscrewing once you've screwed it up. They have included a bottle opener and that has an attachment so you can put it onto a key ring. They did miss a little trick there. They could have done the Swiss Army knife with the flattened edge made it more of a screwdriver, just a small observation. These are the keys that I have and they're pretty messy at the minute because there's too many rings on there and it really needs tidying up and organizing. So that's one of the reasons I wanted to look at something like this because it's a kind of product which I might find useful myself. Once you put the column on, what you need to do is make sure you put the spacer in between each of the keys so that reduces the friction so you can open them up and close them. This works with most keys, but I did find a problem with the Yale padlock key that I have here, a bit smaller the opening. So what I've done is just to show you measurement here, it's about three millimeters across. So most keys are gonna fit, but there's gonna be a few that won't. Once you've got everything you want on there, just tighten it up. And I can't stress this enough, you really have to tighten it so that it does grip fully. If there's not enough tension on there, then just add another spacer. I haven't had any problems with this coming undone and I've been using it for about a week now, but you do need to make sure that it is fully tightened off. Obviously certain limitations with keys, for example, car keys, you're gonna to have to put them on separately or if you've got other size keys, but I think it did a pretty good job of tidying up the bunch of keys that I've got and it encouraged me also to get rid of a few things that I didn't need. The second one that they sent is a larger one and it covers up to 18 keys. This one comes with quite a few bits in the box and it's also carbon fiber, but I'll start off with the accessories. This is a money holder and it appears to be aluminium. What I found is the best way to use this is, and I've got just an example, a dollar bill here. I do actually have some uh, American money and uh, just to fold it up and put it into the top cap, not into the body. Otherwise you'll have a problem getting the note out. This is real carbon fiber. You can tell that when you pick it up and obviously carbon fiber is pretty strong. You also get the same bottle opener as well. And um, again, you can add and remove these things if you don't want them. If you just wanted to put the keys on there, you could do that. That's an option. The eight columns that you get there are extenders. So if you don't have enough height, you can add them to it so you can fit more keys on. It's certainly not the smallest compared to the first one that I looked at, which was quite a bit smaller. So it really depends on whether or not you're gonna be using that extra space for the keys. Here's a quick look at the instructions. They're fairly simple and it's not too difficult to work on this one, but you're gonna need a bit more patience. You don't necessarily need a screwdriver with this. You can just use the parts that are included. And here's the screw, which has a rubber washer on the underside, which hopefully will prevent it from unscrewing. I opted to fill up both sides at the same time and then just add the extender if you need to. Personally, I think having done this now, you're probably better off doing one side first and then working on the other side. It really depends how many keys that you've got. So you need to do a little bit of playing around and planning. Same thing again, once you've tightened it off, it's pretty secure, but you really do have to lock it in place and make sure you do put the spacer between each of the keys, otherwise they'll bind with each other. So for me, this is gonna work better if you're someone who's got a lot of keys. I've only got about five or six keys that I would need to put onto a device like this. So perhaps it's not really aimed at me, I personally prefer the smaller one because it's more compact, but then if you want to protect the keys both sides, this one might work better for you. The other item they sent in was the clean key, and there are three of these in the pack. You do get a key holder which you can put them onto or your other keys that has a plastic part as well as the ring. And this features a retractable design on the line. So this goes out to around about 60 centimeters. It's quite long and then it goes back in. It's nothing special. I've seen these before with different brands. It's an okay sort of add-on item to include if you want to use it. You have a metal clip on the back there if you want to use that as well. 
As far as the main unit itself, it's actually pretty beefy. It does have a bottle opener on there. And in addition to that, it is quite thick. The metal on it, I've put the tape down there just to show you quickly. Um, it's a, a lot chunkier than I expected it to be. And the general idea with this is to open keys without having to touch them. And you can also use it on door handles. Obviously going to be some limitations to that with round door handles. It's not going to work. As far as touchscreen, it's a bit hit and miss, but it could be useful for buttons on ATMs, things like that. I quite like the Clips Mini myself, but I'll let you know how I get on with these. Long-term usage, and thanks for watching the video. Do stick around, I've got more items coming up soon.